for falsifying New York business records uh, in order to conceal damaging information and unlawful activity from American voters before and after the 2016 election. Uh, the DA's office goes on to say during the election, Trump and others Trump and others employed a, quote, catch and kill scheme to identify, purchase and bury negative information about him and to boost his electoral prospects. That would seem to be the first significant window from the DA's office, Dan. It is. But but as a legal matter, I, I think that the the 34 counts, it appears, just relate to the hundred and thirty thousand dollar payout to Stormy Daniels. So what it seems to me, and, and Kate can correct me or Pierre can correct me if they think I'm wrong, but it seems to me that what they've done is they've laid out the context for what was happening, right, in this, in this press release. They basically talked about how from 2015 to 2017 that Trump orchestrated a catch and kill scheme, as you pointed out, through a series of payments. But when it comes to the actual charges, it goes down to say, in total, 34 false entries were made in New York business records to conceal the initial covert $130,000 payment. Um, and, and that seems to be where the charges are stemming from um, as we go through this. And it all, each one of the charges, as Aaron Katursky had laid it out, relate to either a check or a false recording in their business records, an invoice. Um, a marked record. Each one of those is considered another count here. And as we expected, they have said that a violation, and it's unclear if it's state or federal, because it says here, including attempts to violate state and federal election laws, which seems to be what, wrote, what, what took this from a misdemeanor to a felony. 